really felt the sight and the graphic competition. Can we please stand now for the national anthem? Please stand for the national anthem, everybody. College. I'm sorry to the Contra Costa College between the second half of this doubleheader. Falcons of Solano's men coming in with a record of six and seven overall, one and one in conference. Against the home team Comets of Contra Costa coming in with a four and ten overall record. Conference, they're two and one with wins over Los Medanos and Alameda College. Starting lineup for the visiting Falcons will be dressed in their blue uniforms. Will be Jordan Moss. Moss, a freshman out of Fairfield High School. Travis Seal, 6'4", freshman on our Army old Fairfield. Lorenzo Martinez, a sophomore, 6'6". RJ Lewis, 6'2", sophomore out of Vacaville. And rounding it out, we chance Pippen, point guard, number 23, 6'. For the home team, for the home team, Contra Costa be Dwight Wilson, wearing number one, Stephen Evans, DeMar Dunn, Coleman Kelly, and rounding it out will be Marcus Jones. Those are your starters for tonight's Bay Valley matchup. Referees for tonight will be Ron Brokenbraw, Ryan Perillo, and lead official will be Courtney Holmes for, for tonight's matchup. Contra Costa will be wearing their home whites, which are trimmed in blue, while the visiting Falcons will be wearing their blue, trimmed in white. Martinez in Solano controls the tip. Passing around the perimeter. It's pipping over to Lewis. Lewis into the lane. Shot up and good. So Lewis comes right out and scores. Solano jumps out to a 2 nothing early lead. That's done with it. Drives it in. Kicks it out to the left corner. Three ball. Left corner pocket. And that's Steven Evans, and that's the way the game starts. Steven 
Lewis with a first bucket for Solano and the tray ball by Contracasa. Driven to the rim and that will be a foul on the floor. That'll be Jordan Moss. Moss drives it to the rim. And the foul will be on number 13, Coleman Kelly. In the first half. Number two at and line. Moss will be Moss shooting two, uh, two free throws, trailing three to two early in the first half. Remember in men's basketball, you have two halves of 20 minutes and the first free throw by Jordan Moss is up and good. So second free throw by Moss is up and good as well. And that's Wilson with the ball over the front court. Kelly, Kelly with the jump, jumper. Kelly with the jumper in the lane. And Kelly with the jumper. Scored a basket. Solano College over the front court. That's Pippen with it. Seal over to Moss. Moss into, that's a travel, that's a unforced turnover by Travis Seal. And Seal would be charged with the turnover. And Contra Costa would take over with a 5-4 lead early in the first half. 18-32 remaining in the first half. It's Wilson with the ball. Kelly has it. Short jumper by Kelly. Up the rim. So Kelly comes out on fire. Use the window for the bucket. It's four quick points for Kelly. Pippen with it. Pippen receives the screen over to Moss. Moss has it, drives it into the rim. Nice job by Moss, and he will be fouled, and he'll be shooting two. And that foul will be on DeMar Dunn. That'll be his first foul as Moss was able to create off the bounce and get to the rim for the foul, and he'll be shooting Thomas two Ballard free throws. Three, free throws first three first and four for Dunn. I'm sorry for Moss. So Moss already has two free throws driving to the lane. This will be his third and fourth free throws. First free throw by Moss is up and good. So that's three for three for Jordan Moss. Moss is a freshman out of Fairfield, California. Five foot ten. Second free throw is up and good by Jordan Moss. He has four early points in the first half. That's Wilson with it over the timeline. Hands it off over to Dunn. Dunn drives it in, takes to the rim, blocked. Wilson with the long three ball, rebounded by Solano. That's Martinez with the rebound, and R.J. Lewis with it. Over to Pippen, Moss. Moss drives in, loses control. Pippen has it, sizes up the defender. Moss has it, three ball, right corner pocket. Short, secured by Contra Costa. That's done. Shot attempt by Kelly was missed, but followed up by Marquise Jones for the nice stick back to the bucket. Silly with it. Lewis drives it in, defended, and he will be called travel on the floor by lead official Courtney Holmes. And that's a turnover for Solano College. So Wilson with it in the front court. Passes to Kelly. Rebounded by Evans. Stephen Evans has it at the top of the key. Shot clock resets at 23. Kelly has it. Three ball. In and out. Rebounded by Contra Casa. And that ball will be rebounded by Marquise Jones. Yeoman's effort by Jones. And he will be fouled as the official. Ron Brokenbrawl on the call on the floor. And that will be a foul. That will be the first foul on... Lorenzo Martinez, Contra Costa keys it in, drives it to the rim. Nice defense, deflected. Kind of getting sloppy at this point, but they're able to gain control. And that's Wilson with it. 
drives it in, stolen by Pippins, Pippins to the rim, layup missed, followed, rebound by Contra Costa, turnover by Solano, back to Solano, has it, kicks it over, Lewis steps in and he will be called for an offensive charge so no don't count the basket. And that was R.J. Lewis in the inaction early in the first half. Contra Costa has an early three-point lead, 9-6. to six. Welcome to San Pablo, California, Bay Area Sports TV conference matchup between the 2-1 and one Comets. I'm sorry, the 1-1 and 2-1 one com Comets against the 1-1 one and one Falcons. So that's Kelly with the bucket. So far he has six points early in the first half. Lewis has it. Receives the stream. Lewis with the jumper. Rebounded by Dunn. Dunn has it in the front court. Drives it to the rim on Pippen and he will be fouled. So that will be a foul on Pippins. And Dunn will be shooting two free throws. Falcons foul charge number 23, Chance Pippen. So first Pippen first with foul. the foul. At the line the and the Dunn foul. will be Mark shooting Dunn. two free throws. Looks as though it's going to be wholesale substitutions for Solano. Checking in will look like it's going to be GSAC 32. Jefferson, number three, and number 10, Sean Gray, will be checking in for Solano College. And also checking in, Contra Costa. So Dunn with the second free throw, up and good for DeMar Dunn. Two free throws, two makes. Lewis with it. Gray in the front court. Jefferson drives it to the rim. Nice job by Steven Jefferson for the bucket. Contra Costa in the front court, and that will be a foul. Blue 10 with the foul. That's Sean Gray. And that foul was on Coleman Kelly. And Coleman Kelly would be going to the free throw line for the first time in the ball game for his first two free throws. First free throw by Coleman Kelly is up and good. Substitutions for the Comets coming out of the game will be Wilson and checking into the game will be number 15 for the first time will be Curtis Harris. Second free throw missed by Dunn. I'm sorry, by Kelly. Contra Costa at the rim. Two points, number three. And that's by number three. Jefferson. That's Jefferson. Instant offense. Second made field goal in a matter of one minute. So he comes right in scoring the basketball. That's Evans with it. And that pass went awry. That'll be out of bounds. And that will be a timeout on the floor for the head coach, Mark Miguel Johnson. So Johnson calls a 30-second timeout. This is the 30-second timeout for the Cubs. So far in the game, we have 14:47 remaining in the first half, and you have the Comets with a 14-10 lead. Earlier this evening, we had the women, Contra Costa, victorious in their game against the Falcons of Solano and the women improved their record to three and one while the Falcons dropped to two and one. The women's team was led by Malaya Gaines with 25 and Julian Robinson with 23. Back out of timeout, Solano has the ball coming over fourth court. There's R.J. Lewis with it. Receives a screen. Moss inside. Nice move by Moss to get to the rim. And that's Jordan Moss' first bucket of the game. He has six points so far in the first half. That's done with it. 
drives in, and he will be called a travel. There was no room to go for Dunn, and he was called for a travel. You have substitutions coming into the game for Contra Casa. Number 10's checking in for the first time, and that will be Uriah Benning checking in for the first time. Nice in the end action, and there's that man again, Steven Jefferson, for his third bucket to bring the game, tie the game at 14 to 14 with 14.01 remaining in the first half. That's Kelly driving in, deflected, knocked down, stolen by Moss. Up court pass to Jefferson again, short at the rim. Binning has it over the front court. Makes the pass to Dunn. Dunn has it at the top of the key. Drives in left-handed, kicks it out. Nice inside pass. So that was Dunn to Harris. For his first bucket of the game. So a nice job by Kelly hitting Harris for that nice assist. That's Moss. Moss. Jefferson. Jefferson's been on fire since he got in the game. That's Moss again at the top of the key. Drives it in. Contact on the floor. That's Gray. Gray with the up and under. Miss. Rebounded by Contra Casa. And it will be secured by Contra Casa as Binning with the rebound. Knocked out of his hands by Solano College. Checking into the game for Contra Callas. Number 25. That's Drew Solis. He'll be checking into the game. Subbing into the game as well for Solano will be number five. That's Patrick Monroe. He'll be checking in as well. Monroe is a sophomore out of St. Joseph's of Alameda. 16-14, 12-54 remaining in the first half. Contra Costa 16, Solano 14. Drive to the rim. Nice floater. So Drew Solis with the floater to the rim. Count it. Solano, it's over half court. That's Lewis with it. Over to Gray. Gray to Monroe. Back to Gray. Nice three ball lefty. That was in and out for Jusak. Contra Costa drives the ball down the floor. Trey ball missed. Put back. Missed by Contra Costa. Monroe has it. Gray, Gray with the three. In and out. Rebounded. Solis, Solis to Wilson. Wilson walks it up. No, Dunn. Dunn walks it up. Dunn to Benning. Benning to Washington. Inside pass. Kickball. Kickball. So the pass attempted by Solis inside was kicked there. Reset the shot clock to 14 seconds. Checking back in the game will be Wilson. Checking out of the game will be done. So Wilson in, done out. 15 seconds. Shot clock reset. Kaja Casa will be keying it in under their basket. And that's Benning with the ball, the top of the key. Pass the ball to Wilson. Wilson has it. Seven seconds remaining. Receives the on-ball screen. Wilson drives in, loses his footing, turns it over. Solano has it in open court. Drives it to the rim. That'll be an offensive no foul on R.J. Lewis. So referee Ron Brokenbraw calls an offensive foul as... R.J. Lewis used his forearm to gain space, and he was called for a foul. Anthony Bryant checks in for R.J. Lewis, who has his second foul. So Bryant's in the game. Wilson has it. Contra Costa swings the ball around, and it will be a foul. A foul, and that would be on Patrick Monroe, his first foul. Checking into the game will be Kelly. Checking out of the game will be Curtis Harris. That's the 
fifth team foul for Solano. Nice inbound pass by Contra Costa. Bucket. So nice inbound play. And that's Kelly with another bucket. Leading score in the first half for Contra Costa. That's Gray over to Monroe. Monroe has it. Bryant at the top of the key. Bryant over to Monroe. Back to Bryant. Bryant drives in at a rim. Lefty to the rim. Missed. Secured by Contra Costa. And there they go. Up the floor. Nice acrobatic layup by Uriah Benning. Went end to end. Secured that rebound. No one stopped the ball. And Benning went and finished at the rim. Monroe has it. Back to Bryant. Contra Costa has opened up this lead to eight points. That's Monroe. Monroe has it. Drives it in. Turned away. Jusic has it. Kicked it over. Jusic for the three ball. Big man steps out. Short. Again, Contra Costa on the run. Full court. And that was Benning again. Grabbing it off the rim. Going coast to coast. Solano head coach John Nagel does not like what he see on the floor. Wholesale substitutions. Check it back. Check it. He has Pippins back in the game. And the 12 checks in Lorenzo Martinez as well. I'll get to the Contra Costa subs in a second. Just Washington. He just checked in. Wilson with the ball at the top of the key. That's Benning. Benning over to Washington. Nice turnaround jumper off the glass. Drew Solis backed him down. Used the window. Counted. Moss over to Pippins. Pippins received the screen from Jefferson. Pippins jumper. Missed. Secured by Contra Costa. That's Benning. Has it over the front court. Sizes up Pippins. Receives a screen. Jumper. Missed. Rebounded. Gray has it. Front court. Drives it down the floor. Loses control. Picks it up. Moss has it. Drives it to the rim. Moss with the jumper. Lefty. Secured by Contra Costa. Wilson has it. Kicks it over. Benning. And he'll be fouled on the floor. And that will be a foul on number 10. That's Sean Gray. That's his second personal foul. 17 foul. 17 foul. And Contra Costa will be shooting one and ones for the remainder of this period as they have a 24 to 14 lead with 844 remaining in the first half. Ticking into the game for Solano will be number 11. That's Travis Selly. Shooting free throws, a one and one for Contra Costa will be number 10, Uriah Benning. First free throw by Benning. Touches all the part of the rim and knocks that down. That's his first free throw in this one and one. So he's up for a second free throw. That's Benning shooting his second free throw as Contra Costa extends their lead to 11. Second free throw by Benning is up and good. So that's Uriah Benning with the free throw as he'll be checking out. And Jalen Walton will be checking back into the game for Contra Costa. Contra Costa, 12-point lead, 842 remaining in the first half. Moss has it. Kicks it over to Pippins. Pippins to Sellis. Sellis drives in. Jump stops in the lane. Nice floater inside. Travis Sellis. Nice jumper by Sellis in the lane. Cuts the lead to 10. Contra Costa. Drives it around the rim. Kicks it over the corner. Nice pass. Out. That bucket is made. That's Curtis Harris with his second bucket of the game. Nice assist by DeMar Dunn. Moss has it. Jefferson. Sellis, who just knocked down a shot. Picks up his dribble. Knocked out of his hand. Now will be a foul on number 15. 
for Contra Costa, and that would be Curtis Harris. And that is his first foul of the game. 7.57 remaining. Contra Costa has a 12-point lead. Solano will be keying it in as Pippins, Martinez, Moss, Jefferson, Pippins, Moss. Back to Sellis. Jefferson, the lefty. Moss, jumper. Good. Nice ball movement. It's probably the best ball movement I've seen tonight from Solano is that they were able to capitalize on the short 14-foot jumper by Jordan Moss. Done. Harris. Huff. And that would be called a travel on the floor. And that was Drew Solis with the travel. He took too many steps. The so referee broke and brawl saw that one and called that one quickly. So Pippen keys it in. Back to Jordan Moss. 7-14 remaining, 25 seconds on the shot clock. There's Pippen, has it, drives it, and he will be called for a turnover, a palming violation for Pippins as referee Courtney Holmes said, hey, you can't get get away with that. On my watch, you're going to make that call, and just like that, Pippins will be subbed out of the game, and subbed into the game will be Vaughn Davis for the first time. Carwan Brown will be checking in for the first time as well, and he'll be replacing, that's number 25, that's Drew Solis, who has four points so far this afternoon. This evening, rather. Von Davis is guarding the ball. Dunn has it. Double high screen at the top of the key. Kick back. That's Dunn. Back out to Harris. Harris with the miss. Secured by Contra Costa. Moss takes it away. Two on one. Moss to the rim. Missed the layup. Harris with the rebound. Almost stolen by Jefferson. Deflected out of bounds. And Contra Costa will be taking it out as Jalen Walton will be keying it in to DeMar Dunn. Ten-point lead for Contra Costa, double high screen. Dunn negotiates the screen, gets inside. Harris, Walton, Harris drives to the rim, and he will be fouled on the play. So Harris drives it into the rim, and he will be fouled, and he will be rewarded with two free throws, and that will be the first foul on Travis Selly. Curtis Harris. Curtis Harris' first free throw attempts this evening has four points so far. First free throw is up and good for Curtis Harris, tallying his fifth point of the first half. Second free throw by Harris is in and out. Solano secures the rebound. And that's Moss getting it over the front court. Passes the ball in to Martinez. Martinez has it. Dribbles around. Nice jump hook. Nice jump hook by Lorenzo Martinez. Nice feed by Moss. Nice jump hook over his left shoulder. That's Martinez, number 12. That's Dunn has it. Received the double high screens. Dunn. Slano man falls down, does say, hey, you know what? I'm going to shoot this jumper. I'm wide open. So Dunn knocks down that shot. Harris receives it on the low block. Turns over his left shoulder this time. Misses it, secured by Contra Costa. That's Dunn on the accelerator. Back to Walton, and that will be an offensive foul on number 42. And that will be Philip Huff, his first foul. Checking back into the game will be Dan Jusak as well as R.J. Lewis with two personal fouls. Checking in for Contra Costa will be Steven Evans as he comes back into the ball game along with number 13, that's Coleman Kelly, who has six points so far, seven points in the first half. So Lewis has it over the front court. Jefferson pops out. The lefty has it. The, drives it in the lefty all the way to the rim, and he will be fouled. 
So Jefferson takes the ball on the right wing. The lefty drives it to the rim. And Coleman Kelly picks up the second foul in Jefferson. That's Stephen Jefferson will have an opportunity for two free throws as he has six points so far in the first half and count that free throw as well so that's his seventh point checking out of the game for Solano was Travis Selly and checking back into the game for the second time is Anthony Bryant 31 21 525 remaining in the first half and the second free throw by Steven Johnson is good as well and that cuts into the lead of Contra Costa, 31 to 22. Entry pass stolen by Lewis. Lewis drives it down the floor, picks up his dribble. That's Jusak, kicks it back out to Anthony Bryant. Bryant drives in, finds Jefferson. Jefferson, Jefferson. Lewis, ball face. Nice jumper, pass out. Tray ball, Jordan Moss, first tray of the night. 4.48 remaining, timeout by Miguel Johnson. So the first three ball for tonight for Solano will be credited to Jordan Moss. So Contra Costa, had a 10-point lead at one point. Now they have a six-point lead with 4.47 remaining in the first half. So both teams will be shooting one and ones as Solano College has tallied eight fouls so far in the first half. And actually, Contra Costa has one more foul to give before Solano will be shooting one and ones. They have five team fouls. So coming into the game, again, this is a Bay Valley Conference matchup between two teams that are trying to put themselves in position to play on into the state championships. Contra Costa coming into the game. Two and one. Their overall record is four and ten, but you know what? They're two and one in conference, so they're in great position. Solano men come into the game six and seven. Their conference is one and one. Their last win, conference win, was against Los Medanos, 90 to 81. So that's done with the ball, guarded by Moss. That's Harris with it. Harris shot clock going down. Harris with the shot. Missed. Rebound attempt. Nice stick back by DeMar Dunn. Point guard was able to get that and stick that back in with a nice tip. Count the basket. Contra Costa. Moss who just knocked down the tray ball. Contra Costa showing a 2-3 zone. Moss with a second tray attempt. Rebounded by Walton. Walton makes the Aaron pass. Picked up by Evans. Evans has it. Contra Costa has it at the top of the key. And that's DeMar done with it. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Evans. Evans with the three ball. Missed. Lewis has it. Solano. R.J. Lewis has it over the front court. 3.32 remaining, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Lewis has it, passes to Jefferson. Jefferson. Bryant, back to Jefferson again. Jefferson sizes up his man. Back to Bryant. Bryant drives in on Evans. Shot at the rim. Finish. Bryant with his first bucket of the game. Dunn has it. Harris drives in with the short jumper in the lane. It will be up and missed. That's Jusak with the rebound. R.J. Lewis has it over the front court. Stano looking to run some offense. 
Lewis received the screen from Jusak. Lewis jumper at the free throw line and it will roll in. RJ Lewis. Dunn has it over the front court. He's guarded by Moss. Moss putting pressure on him. That's Bryant. Bryant Evans drives in, receives the screen. Gets caught in the lane, gets caught in no man land, turns the ball over. Contra Costa, the backcourt almost stolen. Bryant needs to get it over to half court before the 10 seconds. Gets it over to Jefferson. Bryant slows it down. Solano down by five, down by four, with two minutes left in the first half. As Bryant drives to the rim, kicks it out to Moss. Another tray ball. In and out. Rebounded by Dunn. Dunn has it. Drives to the full court. Layup, and he will be called. It'll be a foul on the floor. Two free throws for Dunn. And the foul will be on Jordan Moss's first foul. It's his first foul in the first half. Ninth team foul. Checking out of the game for Slano will be Jefferson. Checking into the game will be Selly. Checking out of the game will be Evans. And checking into the game for Contra Costa will be number 10. That's Uriah Benning checking back into the game. Done with the first free throw the first one. is up and good. DeMar so DeMar Dunn is three for three from the free throw line so far. It's Contra Costa, 34. The Falcons of Solano, 29. Second free throw is up and good as well for Dunn. And checking into the game will be Pippins. And checking out of the game will be Bryant for Solano College. Solano down by six, 145 remaining in the first half. Some token pressure by Contra Costa. Solano was able to break that. Jusak for a long three. Short, rebounded by Contra Costa. They're up and running, up the floor. Oh, nice one, number 10. Nice job by Uriah Benning. So they turned that long three into a transition layup. And just like that, they're up by Seven again, eight again. Nice inside move by Sellis as he posted up and was able to get the foul on Marquise Jones. So Selly was able to post up. Selly is 6'4", freshman out of Armenio High School, will be shooting two free throws, and the first free throw by Selling is up and good. Checking into the game, number five for Solano will be Monroe, and checking out of the game will be R.J. Lewis. Second free throw is missed by Selly, and Contra Costa is able to secure the rebound. Dunn with the oh, jumper in the lane, five, and that's good. Done. So Dunn with the quick jumper, up and good. Moss has it over the front court. Monroe, Pippins, Pippins, Jusak, Jusak to Monroe. Sellers posts up again, high arcing shot. Off the rim, that's done with it. On the accelerator, drives to the rim, kicks it out. Harris, three ball, short. Picked up by Harris, receives his own rebound, and he will be fouled. So Harris, Curtis Harris, shot the three, missed it, followed his shot, and he will be shooting two free throws as the foul was called on Jusik for two free throws for Curtis Harris. That free throw is missed by Curtis Harris. So far, he's been to the free throw line three times. He's one out of three. Checking into the game for the first time for Solano. I'm sorry, for the second time, we Vaughn Davis. Davis will be checking in for Solano. Second free throw. It's called a violation, so no shot for Harris. Solano was able to catch a break there. Maybe they can score going into half with some momentum. Contra Costa shows some token press. So that's Monroe. It looks like they're running a run and jump. I'm speaking of Contra Costa. 
That's Moss that has it. Vaughn over to Monroe. Monroe back to Moss. Moss to Vaughn. Moss, Monroe. Jusak, corner three, short. Rebound. Solano, four seconds left. Monroe drives to the rim. Monroe, he will get no shot attempt up as it was blocked at the rim. That's the end of the first half. And Solano College will go into halftime trailing by nine. 30 to 39 as Chabot has the lead. So as we begin the halftime festivities here at Contra Costa, Contra Costa will go into halftime with a 39 to 30 lead. And we'll be back to San Pablo, California to go over the second half stats. This is Bay Area Sports TV. 